As you can see, we are now here at the Perneter or the so-called Mortuary Temple of the Middle Pyramid of Khafra. What we see here is a normal scene that we see in many places is the collapsed blocks of limestone and in most cases we realize that the stones collapsed from the effect of the historical fact of recycling the stone throughout the ages but here we do have a different case actually that this block that we see over here used to be right on top of this other block which used to be of course the entire wall used to be cased with that granite stone casing that we still see here and we can see clearly here that this block of stone collapsed because of the deterioration that happened to both of the blocks on top of each other as we can see the borders of that block used to be all the way from here until the granite stone casing on the other side and it used to be at this height once all the way to this level so it kept on eroding and eroding until it collapsed it is not the only case of course this one as well And that one as well. The Ministry of Antiquities created an enforcement, which is what we are looking at here. This is made so it would support this block of stone from falling. As we can see, here is the same case happening again on that part. The deterioration on the lower block. And we can see how this filling in the stone here is not part of the original structure but it is the restoration that is made by the ministry of antiquities as we see the severe erosion that is in the blocks of stones over here We notice that this erosion happened only when the stone became exposed to weathering. Again, this lower part here, make no mistake, is an enforcement made by the Ministry of Antiquities to support these blocks of stones from falling. We can see severe erosion on all the blocks here so knowing that we have structures that goes back to the old kingdom in the Giza plateau itself and they are still in a very good condition even that they were also exposed and knowing that we do have actually mud break structures that goes to older time according to the official story than 
the pyramid of Khafra, and I'm mentioning here uh, the structure of Khasikh uh, Moy in Abydos, the area that is known as Shonit Zibib. It's all built from mud brick, and it's still in a very good condition. Makes me wonder how old is this structure? How long would it take for a structure with a block with blocks this big would take for these stones to be eroded and the falling? As we can see, the second course of stones in the back over there is not eroded because it was not exposed. There used to be another layer of stones in front of it. So that's how all the blocks used to look like. And here we can see another part that is made to support these pieces from falling. And we can see that originally that severe erosion is continuing between two megalithic blocks which proves again that the deterioration happened of course after the structure was built and then the erosion happened after the blocks of stones were exposed so the structure must be much more ancient than the age of the deterioration itself. How old is this structure? 